Hey guys, today we're going to talk about UTM or Urchin Tracking Module that was developed by some of the Google developers to allow publishers to track their campaigns, the sources of their traffic, and attribute revenues and impressions. You can find more information if you go to this page right here on um, what UTM is all about and all the other stuff that's upcoming with this project. And I think there's a patent pending and they're gonna call it Urchin Traffic Monitor. So where do we begin in creating our UTM values and campaign URL? So there's this tool from Google Analytics. You can go to gadevtools.appspot.com, campaign URL builder. And here you just need to enter your website URL or the specific URL where this campaign is going to run. If it's a sub page, then you have to put it in there. If it's your main page, then you put that in there as well. So it's, it really depends on which page you'd like to track UTMs on. Then you specify the campaign source if applicable. Let's say you have a campaign that will run through Facebook, so you can put it in there. And then let's say medium, if applicable, you also put it in here. Let's say this is gonna be a banner through banner ads. And let's say campaign name, then um, let's say for example, uh, this campaign is going to be for winter uh, season. Let's just pretend that's what you're trying to track. Then if you have terms and content, you go ahead and you know, uh, put it in there. And if you notice at the very bottom, it auto generates the URL for you. So you have this right here. You can just copy the URL, provide this to uh, whoever is sharing your website campaign, if it's an affiliate partner. And that's the reason why sometimes if you notice, when you open ads, you're gonna see UTM source, UTM medium, UTM campaign that's appended in the URL of the site. That's actually how UTM tracking works. So every time a user clicks on that ad, for example, that your affiliate displayed on Facebook, they go to that specific URL and there's this UTM parameters attached to that URL. And in order for you to attribute how much revenue you earned from that campaign, how many impressions did you get from this source, from this medium, then you need to go ahead and implement a key value or KVP in DFP. So let's say you have another campaign. Um, let's say instead of Facebook, you have another source. Let's say you partnered with someone from, uh, let's say LinkedIn. So you can also put that in there. And let's say this one is going to be through email. And this one is going to be for, uh, let's say, end of year. 2018. Okay, so let's just pretend that's your campaign. And again, you have this URL that you need to send or post on your LinkedIn campaign, wherever you post that advertisement. And again, when users click on it, they are sent to this landing page and that allows you now to track on the report. Now, how do we ensure 100% coverage? When we talk about coverage, that means can we generate a report for 100% of your traffic through UTM reporting? meaning each of your impression gets tracked using the KVP or key value pair that starts with UTM. So watch the next video and I'm going to discuss with you guys how to ensure we get 100% coverage and how to make sure we track or we attribute all the revenues and impressions for specific UTM parameters in your DFP account and eventually in your pub guru dashboard. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.